Okay, so you've probably heard a lot of people say that we're living in a simulation. And there are actually a lot of prominent thought leaders and physicists that believe this. Elon Musk has said this before, Neil deGrasse Tyson has said this. Also other people that are equally respected in the worlds of physics and mathematics, but not as like well known. I wanted to make a video elaborating on this a little bit and explaining how it relates to organoid intelligence, because I touched on that in a previous video and I think a lot of people actually misunderstood me. So there is some evidence that suggests the world we're living in is not real. There was actually an experiment in 2022 that won the Nobel Prize proving the universe is not locally real. And I'll probably have to make another video on what that is, but essentially it proved that space or like distance is almost an illusion and that some information can travel through it instantaneously and that particles don't really exist in a specific state until we measure them. Now, a lot of people have suggested that this is kind of like the universe not rendering things that it doesn't need to in order to save computational power. But the most convincing argument for simulation theory is actually just probability. Because as our technology kind of advances, we get better and better at simulating reality. And a lot of people think that we'll eventually be able to simulate reality in a way that's uh, indistinguishable from real reality. So like you could put on a headset or run something in Neuralink and you wouldn't even know that it's fake. Now, if that's the case, uh, people using that simulation, if it's indistinguishable, from reality could then within that simulation create another simulation and so on until there's a bunch like a big chain of them and if that's the case the probability that we're the origin of the chain is like infinitely low i think the most important part about this is that people think of it as like a simulation creating a simulation creating a simulation but it's actually an intelligent being within each of them creating something like it takes some level of intelligence within a simulation to create the simulation inside it's kind of like a which came first type of question because yeah well there could be a base reality that started the chain it could also just be a base very intelligent entity that created base reality like a god or just the pure basis of intelligence or consciousness or thought but yeah the most important part about the simulation hypothesis is that further to be evidence that it's true we have to essentially create a simulation that is experienced as real and for a long time people have thought that that would mean we would have to create a simulation that we could go into and experience as real but with organoid intelligence there's kind of a new avenue in that we might someday be able to create brains without bodies that are conscious and experience their reality only through stimulation that we provide them we're able to create simulations that those brains experience as real, even as rudimentary as the butterfly simulation that people are already running on organoid brains, that is actually already approaching a level of simulation that we're creating, which could very well be evidence for the simulation hypothesis. So yeah, I just thought it was really exciting to think about and uh, kind of cool. Follow for more.